You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own. And you know what you know, and you are the one who'll decide where to go. I quote from Dr. Seuss. Today, we, I'm going to talk to you about uh, the problem and solution of what shoes should I wear. Uh, my name is Michael Breed, and I'm 50 years old, and I have a number of shoes in my closet. Uh, I will be discussing three points. First, the problem is I have a closet full of shoes, and I don't know which pair to wear. But second, why would it even matter what shoes I wear? Uh, lastly, the solution is found most often in the one that will look at you, uh, that being someone close to you that doesn't want you to look like a clown. For my first point, the problem, I do have a number of shoes in my closet uh, to choose from. Uh, not as many as, say, Imelda Marcos, the first, former first lady and president of the Philippines, who had, uh, according to Fortune magazine, Sean Tolley, uh, uh, exceeding 3,000 pairs of shoes in her closet. Uh, that's a fact that I also knew because I lived in the Philippines my senior year in high school. In my closet, I have a number of different pairs of shoes. I have running shoes, I have dress shoes, I have boots and sandals. Um, black, white, beige, Reebok, Nike, Rockport. So that creates a lot of different pairs for me to choose from. My second point being, uh, because I have that choice, on occasion I might have uh, less than favorable judgment placed on me by people who don't like my look. Uh, much like Elvis Presley, who was unfairly criticized for swaying of his hips while performing blue suede shoes. Time Magazine's uh, Alexandra Sifferlin wrote a compelling article on the social issues that are associated with a person's footwear. In a controlled group of similar but um, diverse participants, people were shown pictures and with a high success rate were able to determine age, gender, and income based on their shoes. In other words, people notice who and or what you are by what you wear down there. Uh, those factors, as well as other social considerations, contribute to the embarrassment of certain friends, family, and your significant other when you choose to wear an unsatisfactory pair of draperies on your feet. The solution isn't always clear, but there are a few things that you can do. Uh, Tom Bannum of FashionBeans.com has a compilation of shoes, colors, styles that are right for men and recommendations on how to wear them. It's a good, solid, basic strategy to go by if you're looking to read an article that's about 10 blocks long. Anyone can read articles, consult stylists, uh, even watch videos with suggestions on what you should wear with what. However, my proposed practical solution is to ask your spouse or say, friends that you'll be going out with. In the end, your spouse or your friends will be the ones that judge you for your look, and they are also either complimented by or embarrassed by your oversized vinyl red clown shoes or your white socks sticking out of your sandals as you're eating dinner at a Ruth Chris Steakhouse. The effectiveness of this plan will be manifest at the end of the night when you don't hear the typical declaration of, see, I told you so, and instead you will hear a blissful silence. In conclusion, I have talked to you today about the problem of what shoes should I wear. The main points were I recognize the amount of styles and shoes, etc., which brings me to my second point. Or <laughs> the main problem then was what shoes should I wear. And I express the solution to solving which you by satisfying the one person or people that mean most to you in your life instead of the general masses. Uh, by letting them choose which shoes that you should wear. However, like Dr. Seuss, I do make an additional observation. Uh, giving your boss might dislike your shoes. And even though your friends and your, or your spouse may have the best input as to what you should wear. Uh, there is always the right to, to veto because you are the one that will decide where to go.